Heading into this offseason, the topic of discussion was basically who's going to be the new quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings, especially if we move on from Kirk Cousins like the Minnesota Vikings ended up doing because we just couldn't sign him for the type of money he wanted if we wanted to sign our other superstars like Justin Jefferson. So we had to move in another direction. Well, moving forward into the offseason, we end up signing Sam Darnold to a one-year deal, going to be a bridge quarterback. Sam Darnold, I'm sure, is very aware of that situation. We all thought, okay, this is going to be our guy going forward, pending on what we do in the draft. Do we, you know, trade up to the top five, top three pick and take a, you know, uh, an all-perennial player that was in college at one time to try to make, you know, his... Uh, make history basically in the National Football League, if you will, like later on in the future, you get what I'm trying to say. Um, but we stick at, no, well, we didn't stick at number 11. We moved up one spot, at number 10. We selected J.J. McCarthy. Boy, was everybody pretty excited. This guy just won a national championship. He embodies what it means to, you know, be from the Midwest. Uh, he plays hard, hard-nosed football. Uh, he was a hockey guy when he was younger and stuff like that. So I think a lot of us Minnesota Vikings fans, we're pretty pumped up. But then the question still remained, who's going to start week one? Well, I've said multiple times, I don't think J.J. McCarthy will get the start week one. I think we're going to roll into this season with Sam Darnold as quarterback one just because, look, J.J. has a lot of learning to do yet, right? He just got through mini camp. Training camp is right around the corner, starts this Sunday. Uh, so he has a lot to basically prove to not only us as fans, but he's, he has stuff to prove to the organization, the coaching staff that he is capable of taking the reins in week one. And I just don't think that's possible at this point. I mean, he could do it, but why throw him to the Wolves? Because if he goes out there and he lays an egg, boy, you could ruin his the rest of his career, and we don't want to see that happen. I, I think J.J. McCarthy would be just fine regardless if he threw him to the Wolves or not because I think he has a chip on his shoulder. He has that you know hockey uh, mentality where you get knocked down, you're going to get back up two times or three times, whatever the case may be. But I think going forward into the season, we're going to start with Sam Darnold. We're going to see how long he can take the reins and and see how many uh, ball games he can win us and stuff like that. And then we'll probably hand the ball off to J.J. McCarthy next season. However, there's one specific guy who's been on or went on Kay Adams' uh, show, which is called Up and Adams. I believe it's on FanDuel TV or I'm not 100% sure where it is anymore, but I know that's where it started. Uh, but he was basically talking about a bunch of different things, his time with the Patriots, what's his best moment but he was also asked about the Minnesota Vikings, and he went on a plethora of, you know, some advice for Justin Jefferson, some advice for other players and what the Vikings can do and how we can be an explosive offense. And then he drops who he thinks should be starting week one. Randy Moss, okay, on K. Adams show up in Adams, basically said, hey, look, there's a quarterback that needs to start week one. So let's get right to it. Randy Moss stresses the need for the Vikings rookie to adapt quickly and learn on the job by starting in week one. Here's exactly what Randy Moss said. When we played, okay, that being when Randy Moss played, the first three guys that were drafted, they're playing. There's no if, ands, or buts about it, okay? Now, the fourth, fifth, and sixth round, we'll see. They may or may not see the field. Maybe a special teamer. That's what he's basically saying, and that's still very real today. First rounders, they're expected to probably go out there and start immediately. You know, you get to that fourth, fifth, sixth round, those guys are just there as prove it. Prove it draft picks, really. I, I, like That's basically what those are. Like You want to be a part of this team? Prove it. Show us that you deserve to be here. But the first three, uh, first three rounds back then, those guys played. Now you're drafting guys first round. They're not even seeing the field. Okay, so you ask me a question? Yeah, I don't care if he's not ready. He needs to be out there week one. He said this about rookie quarterback J.J. McCarthy. I agree with Randy Moss in some instances, and I disagree with him in some instances. Look, Kevin O'Connell and Kwesi Dofomens and the rest of the coaching staff basically came together, and they set out a plan for J.J. McCarthy to basically learn one thing at a time, put one foot in front of the other, and slowly learn this offense, slowly understand the NFL game, which is a little bit slower pace, but a lot harder to, you know, to to have a successful career than it is in college, right? College, it's a lot of fast pace, RPOs, you're going deep, you got a lot of mismatches here and there. The NFL, you don't have that many mismatches. You have a lot of disguises in the defense. There's a lot of things that can go 
absolutely sideways. And that's one thing you don't want J.J. McCarthy to deal with because if you throw him out there week one and he's he's looking at a defense that he's never seen in his entire life and there's a certain play that he has to run and he just doesn't know where to go with the ball, it could look it could look brutal, right? And then you're like, oh, we should have started Sam Darnold. We should have let J.J., you know, warm up a little bit to the NFL, see how the game's played, learn a little bit more, and go out there, uh, whether it's next season or late in the season this year, so that he gets an understanding of how the NFL game is played. It's still football, right? It's still, you know, you're, you and your buddies go outside, you're, you're going to play a game of pickup football. It's still the same sport. There's just, it's a lot harder to di- to digest and, and to understand and to really just be successful at, right? We've seen many people come in the league supposed to be superstar, you know, players and they're busts, right? Jamarcus Russell didn't watch film, okay? He couldn't understand blitzes. He didn't understand anything. Johnny Manziel was Mr. Money Football, right? Back at Texas A&M. He goes in the first round. We already know what happened, his whole story. Uh, it just didn't work out. He was a bust. Tim Tebow was supposed to be a guy, right? Comes in the league. He played for a little bit. He ends up moving to tight end not too long ago. His career is basically over. It just sometimes it doesn't work out, especially when you're thrown to the wolves absolutely like immediately. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. But there also are those instances like a CJ Stroud where you get thrown to the wolves and guess what? You have the best rookie season in the in NFL history, right? So there's these you know certain areas you can look at. But I look at one person in particular, Patrick Mahomes, for instance. Now, granted, he did have Alex Smith as his starter to kind of you know learn from and understand the game of football. Where JJ McCarthy is Sam Darnold, you know, no knock on Sam Darnold at all. But you know, Alex Smith, I think, had a little bit higher ceiling uh, than what Sam Darnold has, at least at this point in in his career, compared to what Alex Smith was dealing with in his career. Um, but Patrick Mahomes sat. He learned until Alex Smith suffered that gruesome injury. And then Patrick Mahomes got to take the reins. And guess what? The rest is history. You know, he has two or three Super Bowls at this point, whatever it is. I can't keep track. The man just keeps winning and winning and winning, which is something I think we as Minnesota Vikings fans would absolutely love to have or to have because we haven't experienced that. Nobody's experienced that if you're a Minnesota Vikings fan. Or like unless you were watching football before the Super Bowl era even was a thing, right? So in my case, J.J. McCarthy needs to sit, needs to learn, unless he's absolutely ready. If the coaching staff feels <laughs> this guy's got it, okay, he's going to go out there, start week one, and we're going to see what happens. We're going to let this guy go out there and prove that he's the you know franchise. He's the future of this team. But again, if he's not ready, don't risk it. Don't don't piss off fans. Don't make us upset saying, oh, we should have started Sam Darnold. What were they thinking? This guy is not ready. Or why did we waste a draft pick on this guy when we could have waited, took somebody a little bit you know, better or ha- tried to trade up even further? I'm not sure if we did. Uh, I heard there was conversations with the Giants and stuff like that. And uh, But I-, I just don't want us to second guess ourselves. Right now, Sam Darnold is the week one starter. That's what Kevin O'Connell has said. And he said, hey, be patient. We have a we have a plan in place for J.J. McCarthy. But this man right here, Hall of Fame wide receiver Randy Moss, thinks otherwise. He says, hey, J.J. McCarthy needs to be out there week one. I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on this situation? Who do you want to see week one starting at quarterback for our Minnesota Vikings? Drop that down below in the comment section. Also, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be much, much appreciated. Have a great rest of the night, folks. And Skull Vikes.